What's up guys? Just woke up, so we're gonna do the usual morning routine of hydrating and taking some mastic gum. So we have this available on organsupplements.com. It comes as like little pebbles and then you blend it up into a powder to increase the dispersion in the stomach. So it covers more surface area. I usually do about a teaspoon on an empty stomach. So the mastic gum does a few things. It has antimicrobial properties, so it does clear out the stomach and upper small intestine, which is important because you're not really supposed to have a high bacterial content in those parts of your stomach. So first thing in the morning when you're hydrating, when you're taking this, it's nice to kind of clear things out. It's also a resin and it's from you know nature, it's from trees. So it does have some like fibrous properties that do help stimulate liver detox and actually detoxes the liver a little bit um, because you know you're taking a small amount and sometimes i'll take more sometimes i'll wait like an hour if i'm baking bread or something then i'll take another teaspoon with some more water lately i've been taking some magnesium in the morning too i'm skipping today because i didn't sleep too well last night sometimes it makes me like hyperactive so uh, we'll see how I sleep tonight, and then maybe we'll take some more magnesium tomorrow. But I'm going to go to work, so we'll see you guys when I come back home for lunch. All right, guys, it's like 4 o'clock, almost dinner time for most people. However, I have not eaten today. Usually, I try to be a little better about it. I am um, actually had my electrician here installing my new hood vent and range that I bought used at a great price. I'll talk more about that in the next day of eating, where I'm rambling on and on, but... Today's a quickie, so let me show you guys what's for lunch. So I've showed you guys similar stuff to this several times. The meat source today is some tenderloin. We were trimming up some really nice ones at Frankie's Strange Meat today. So I, I just took the tenderloin scraps and brought them home to saute for dinner. Uh, we have our homemade sourdough bread that we put in the toaster for a little bit with our white bean puree. Guys, I omitted the onions from the white bean puree and just used mushrooms instead. A little bit easier on the stomach. So we're still putting in white beans, artichokes, but just mushrooms instead of the onions. Honey crisp apple peel, that's dessert. Kefir grains, we're gonna have four to five tablespoons and then some water kefir. And you know, sometimes you guys look at the website and like, yeah, $10 a bottle for water kefir is kind of expensive, but I actually dilute this 50-50 with water. And you know, one of these bottles, sometimes lasts me two days. So the actual cost per day of having the high quality probiotic water kefir grains and water kefir isn't that high. Tenderloin by far my favorite cut. I'm looking forward to that. Just a little bit of salt and oil on the pan. Got to make some more bread for tomorrow. But outside of that, I'm going to sit down and enjoy my lunch. I mean, we've been doing this diet for like, what, three years now. So I think you guys get the gist of it. We're getting a minimal amount of protein and giving the body a lot of starch and fiber to kind of detox the liver and get things moving. I actually donated blood yesterday. Uh, so maybe we'll do a quick short on that soon. But um, I'll see you guys for dinner. What's up guys, it is way too late, almost 1 a.m. My schedule's kind of messed up. I took a nap and then did a few hours of work on my computer and now we're eating dinner. Probably the first time in like a year, I'm not having udon noodles because I forgot to bring them home. Was actually contemplating on driving to the warehouse just to pick them up, but I did have some uh, potatoes on the counter so we're just boiling some potatoes we got something new guys halibut we are selling fish on Frankie's Strange Meat now we'll talk about that in a little bit uh, but I just want to show you guys we're trying out the Italian pork sausage and it is absolutely delicious uh, I took some out of the casing here and spice mix on point 100% organic custom spices really really delicious really delicious i mean the iberico pork is good on its own but you've been like missing italian sausage for recipes this is really amazing so here's dinner guys we got halibut seared in a pan a little bit of the coconut oil same with the potatoes we boiled them seared them in the pan with a little bit of oil a little bit of salt honey crisp apple for dessert just some water and some masticum so this is a really really simple basic meal we have lean protein I like the fish because it's low in iron. Uh, we also have cod on Frankie's syringe meat, and now we have salmon. Halibut's really expensive. I was just trying this out. The cod is literally less than half the price, but 
know, halibut doesn't even really taste like fish. It has zero fishy flavor whatsoever. Can't really say the same thing about cod, although cod is also pretty mild. These are peeled red potatoes. Soak them in water for a day. You don't really have to do that, but you want to make sure it's a white flesh potato. Just excellent source of starch, carbohydrates, fiber, minerals, very, very balanced. Potatoes are basically a complete food. I was going to put some of the white bean puree on them, make kind of like a potato salad, but I really don't have to. Honey crisp apple, same dessert with every meal, just some more sugar. You know, you want to give the liver a diverse carbohydrate profile to really utilize all the enzymes. And then it's like, a, it's a high volume food, low calorie content with a lot of water. So it's good for gut motility, keeping things moving. Of course, the mass to come with every meal. You guys know I've always been taking this and then uh, no water kefir for dinner. We're just going to have some water. I ran out of the Fiyuji. We got to pick some up tomorrow, but uh, Mountain Valley is okay. Just a little higher in calcium. So from an inflammation perspective, this is really as good as it gets. You cannot have a less inflammatory meal than white fish and potatoes. And the next thing up would be like beef and potatoes, but the red meat, whether it's beef, venison, pork, even chicken has a lot of iron in it. Iron, you know, has to be processed by the liver, but more importantly, candida, yeast, gram-negative bacteria, almost all bacteria in the stomach, likes to hold on to iron and it helps it grow and proliferate and, and it reduces the gut motility. So if you have gut issues, swapping to white fish can kind of help. And I like having it before bed because you usually sleep a little better too. Um, the iron content in, in most meat is what makes it kind of hard on digestion in the context of people with digestive issues or impaired liver function due to, you know, past diet and environmental stuff. So I'm happy we have the fish now on Frankie's syringe meat. We have the halibut and the cod, which is what I've been doing. And if you guys want salmon as well, we could just uh, bring some salmon in, but salmon is not nearly as, uh, as easy on the liver as the white fish. So I'm gonna enjoy this meal, guys. Uh, I think next week, uh, we'll do a more in-depth day of eating. Today, I'm just showing you guys the basic. Okay, this is what I have. Protein, carbs, starch, fiber, keeping it minimally inflammatory, pretty low fat, probiotics, different supplements here and there for gut motility. But yeah, that's really it. You guys can go to frankdashtafon.com if you want to support me. Uh, if you go to frankiesyringemeat.com, you'll see a lot of interesting, high-quality animal products, as well as frankiesyringefoods.com where we have the non-perishable stuff like the udon noodles I forgot to bring home or stuff like oats that I normally have for breakfast or flour I used to make my bread. Organ supplements, we have the masticum and some more supplements I'm probably gonna take next week to show you guys. And uh, that's really it. So thanks again for joining. I'll see you guys soon.